Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. This is a beginner workout and we're gonna do a full body strength workout using dumbbells. So you're gonna grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. Here are the ones that I would suggest, of course, always lift within your own abilities. I'm also gonna use a bench or a chair, something stable to sit on. And the format for the workout will be 40 seconds of work, 15 seconds in between. We'll repeat everything for two rounds, okay? Just to get those muscles used to this weight. Now, now we'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. Okay, strength workout coming. Are you ready to move daily? Me too. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to hit traditional strength on the watch. Let's warm things up here. We're just gonna start with some calf raises. So swing the arms up to the tiptoes here. That's it. So we'll hit all those major muscle groups in the workout today, right? Back, chest, biceps, triceps, shoulders, quads, glutes, hamstrings, calves. And uh, yeah, we'll have a good session. Abs, but don't forget abs. <laughs> okay, feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna squat low and reach overhead. All right, if you're not a big fan of the squat, just do the arms right here. Reach your hips back. One more here. That's it, widen the stance. Hand to toe tap right here, good. You can't touch your toe, you're just tapping your knee or your shin. Two more here. All right, stay hinged forward at the waist. Knees are soft, one arm is down, the other one is gonna stretch up here. We'll just stretch in through the pecs. Good, and switch, reach. Switch, just giving that wrist a little roll here. And switch one more. Very good. Rounding up, let's roll your shoulders back. And roll them forward, up by the ears. Some heel uh, kicks right here with a nice front press. Just want to increase heart rate a little bit. We're warming the body up to get that synovial fluid into the joints so that when you lift the dumbbells, everything's ready to go in that area, right? Push to the side right here. And push overhead right here. Good, into some heel digs. Heel is down, toe is up, and you're sweeping the ground, alternating sides. Last one here. Now let's just go into some butt kicks right here with a punch and press. All right, still just warming up those quads on the sky. 10 more here. Very good, and we'll finish with our torso turn. Okay, there's the first set. Grab the dumbbells and here we go. I'm gonna start with just really light weights, three pounds and my chair. I'm gonna do a sit squat with a press. If you don't have a bench, you can go here and press. All right, here we go. So stand and push, reach your hips back and sit down. 
Now the key is not to plop. You just want to gently sit by reaching hips back. Very good. If you want to eliminate the squat, you can just stick with the arm motion and do that overhead press. What you don't want to do on this sit squat is put your hands on your legs and try and push yourself up. Okay, go your pace. Good, holding these same three pound dumbbells. I'm gonna do a lateral, front, lateral, and down. So roll the shoulders back. This could be done without weights as well if it gets too heavy. Here we go, up to the front, side, down. All right, the goal here is not to shrug those shoulders. It's easy to do, and then you're using your trap and your neck muscles. We wanna use shoulder muscles. I'll stick with these same three pounders. I'm gonna go into a plie squat bicep serve. You can just do the serve if you don't wanna do the squat. Palms face the ceiling. Elbows here, toes are out. And we drop and press. Good, that's it. So again, you're not shrugging your shoulders, they're low away from your ears. Now your squat doesn't have to be as low as mine either. You can just do a little one there, or like I said, eliminate the squat and just do the upper body. Great, back to the top. Now, round two, switch weights if you'd like. You can go heavier if that round was easy. I'll stick with the threes here. Sit, squat, press, and stand. So we're up, push, reach the hips back, don't plop. You control the down. Okay, into your lateral front combo. Out to the side, to the front, shoulders low and back. Here, 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 and down. So my knees have a little softness in them. We are working those front shoulders, okay. Again, eliminate the weights, just do the action if you need. This adds up and we've been working those legs and shoulders in this circuit, so this might be fatiguing here. Good, roll your shoulders back. You can also let that dumbbell hang a little bit and stretch through your neck muscle during the rest. Okay, let's take it wider. Palms are up, shoulders low and back. Serve at the top and there, good. Now, I want you to keep your chin up on this guy because the tendency will be to round when the weights are in the front. You need to keep that back tall.
A little 30 second water rest coming up. You can pause the video, of course, if you need a longer rest. Okay, nice. Good first circuit. Take a look at the screen. That's what's coming up next. We're gonna take it to the ground this round. I'm gonna bring down my tens for that chest press. I'll bring down those fives or eights. I think I'll go eights for the triceps, but go lighter if you need. And then we'll hit that ab exercise. Okay, on your back, but of course you could use a bench. I just wanted to add the abs as well here. We're going into a wide, narrow chest press. I'm holding those tens. Start wide, turn narrow. I'm gonna go up into that bridge position. So wide and turn, come back down wide. Wide and turn, come back down wide. Okay, look at your hands. The wrists should be locked in neutral. And I want you to press that weight over the chest, not over your neck or face, okay? And I'm up in bridge, just to activate glutes. A little bit more bang for your buck, but of course you could lie flat on your back or on your bench. Slow and controlled, squeeze the pecs at the top. Very good. Moving to that tricep exercise, I'll hold eights, but threes or fives are good too. You're gonna put your palms facing each other, we'll press back for your extension, ceiling and down. So we're up, back at the elbow, up and down to the ground. Good, back, up and down. Now you can gently tap the ground if you like. It's best just to hover over the ground without bouncing off the ground if you can, okay? That way you take out any additional assistance. That's it. Okay, set those down. Let's go into our abs. We're gonna go into that heel drop. Knees are at 90 degrees. We're reaching alternating sides out right here. You can tap the ground with the heel. You could also lie on your back if that's easier for your neck. Okay, sometimes people find this exacerbates their neck muscles. I'm good with it this way now. But keep your chin close to your chest there, right? If you are on your back and you wanna put your hands under your bottom to assist taking that arc out of the back, that's an option here for you. Okay. Get a little hip flexor activation here too, but that's good. We wanna have strong hip flexors, okay? Strong, but also we wanna stretch them as well, and we'll do that at the end here. Let's go back to the top, wide, narrow turn in your bridge. Okay, out to the side. Hips are up and press right here. Turn and squeeze. You wanna put your mind in the chest muscles. So as you're pressing up, you're thinking about the chest, pushing and then flexing at the top. are up. Very nice. Let's grab that lighter weight into the tricep extension. I'll stick with those eights. Palms are facing each other. Press to the ceiling, back at the elbow, and we're up, down, up, and back. That's it. Thinking triceps here. A little bit of chest helps with that press, but mostly triceps on this one. So if you're like, yeah, I wanna tighten the back of my arm, put this on repeat. You need lots of volume with an exercise like this in order to get the back of that arm more muscular. You have to feel 
the weight is challenging the muscle. Very nice. Let's go into our ab here. Set that down. And again, from your back or from the elbows, alternating that tap. Ready, and here we go. There, switch. Ten more seconds here, then we're gonna be moving to that standing position, but I'll give you another water rest. Go about 30 seconds to make that transition back up to standing. All right, good. Then we'll get ready for the next circuit. We'll move to a one-arm row. I'm gonna hold a 12-pound dumbbell here. If you don't have a bench or chair to prop yourself up on, use your knee, okay? I'll call halfway, then we'll switch. Super flat back, neutral neck, and drive that elbow up and down. Think of retracting your shoulder blade. Good, switching sides, flat back and row. Okay, set the weight down. I'm gonna have a seat on the edge of my bench, so you could stand if you don't have something to sit on. I'll hold tens here, and we're gonna do a seated hammer curl. Shoulders back, palms facing, and we curl straight up and down. I don't want you to let those elbows jut out. You're nice and tall. Just working the bicep muscle here. Up. Squeeze at the top. Your tendency might be to let the dumbbell swing at the bottom. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Just, you're gonna start from a dead stop at the bottom, then hit that curl. All right, set those down. I'm gonna go just a little bit lighter here for my bicep curl. We're using the short head of the bicep. That was the long head. So it's a bit stronger than the short head. Palms facing the ceiling this time. And curl, full range of motion. There you go. Now, sometimes what I'll see here is people leaning forward like this and then throwing their hips forward. You're gonna stay completely stationary in your torso. Let the arms do the work. Elbows in. All right, back to the top. Back to your one arm row. I'll stick with the 12 pound dumbbell. And again, hinging at the waist. Hand can be on a chair. I'll do it that way this time to show you. A nice flat back. And we drive. Good. And pull. Switching sides. Core engaged and pull. It means you are activating those abdominal muscles, right? So that you're not rounding in the torso. OK, 
Okay, sit down for your hammer curl. I'll stick with the tens here. Okay, knees are close. You could stand here if you don't have the seat again. Straight up and down. Up, squeeze at the top. Good, good. And into that bicep curl with the palms facing up. All right. Elbows in, shoulders back, and knees are soft. Curl here. Squeeze. seconds. Last here. Nice and slow. Okay, water break again. Take a look at the screen, grab your dumbbells, and this is what's coming up next. I'm going back into another squat action. If you don't want to squat, you're just going to do the twist part. I'm holding a 10 pound dumbbell, but you could do this lighter without. Okay, otherwise, let's hit that squat with the twist, alternating sides. Squat, up and twist. Center, other side and twist. All right, a little leg with some standing abs in that oblique twist with that crunch there. Reach your hips back if you're hitting the squat. Again, you can just hit that twist if you'd like. That's fine too. I'm gonna grab that other 10. You could go lighter, but we're gonna do some calf raises. Okay, important to train those calves up to the tiptoe, down to the ground, all right? Multiple times, and here we go. Up, low, up. Okay, if you're feeling too imbalanced, eliminate one weight if you want. Hold a wall, right, for some stability. Keep going. Sometimes I'll do this off of a stair, and then I'm just holding the wall, but I'm adding a ton of tension because now I'm able to dip way below that um, center line, which lengthens the calf and then contracts it. Here, we're mostly just contracting without that lengthening, but still good for the calves and the Achilles. Okay, nice. Into your tricep kickback. Two, three, five pound here. Again, you're gonna hinge forward, elbows up, Kicking back that tricep, I'll call half. Here we go. Kick and pause. Good, elbow stays high. Don't swing at the bottom. All right, switch sides and kick. Feel a little slight tremble in my tricep when I straighten and flex it. Okay, good. Back to the start, back to your squat twist or just your simple twist. Okay, 
feet a little wider than shoulder width. Drop it low and we squat. Up, twist, switch sides. Good. All right, grabbing the other 10, moving into those calf raises here again. Okay, all the way up to your tiptoes, shoulders back, knees are soft. And here we go, up, up, and drop. into your tricep kickback to finish off this circuit. And then I've got one more circuit for you. All right, either hinged forward here or really on your bench. Elbow is up, back is flat, neck is neutral. And we kick, good, and up. Last one on this side. Switch arms. Okay. Last circuit here, we're gonna make our way down to the ground for our hamstring march. So, I want you to place your feet as far away from your bottom as is comfortable, and then we're alternating that march to the ceiling. So we lift, good. I hold the side of my yoga mat so I'm not slipping backward, and I'm landing on my heel. All right, if you're not able to lift your alternating legs, I want you to just come up into this bridge position all right, with your feet nice and far away from your bottom, that's gonna activate those hamstrings here as well. Into our 90 degree crunch. If you're close to a bench or chair, scoot forward, put your legs there, hands behind the head and we're crunching. Alternatively, you can just hold your legs in the air or put your feet on the ground. And we crunch, good. So think about lifting your chest toward the ceiling and you're gently supporting your head with your hands. You're not pulling at that neck. And moving into another ab exercise while you're down here, we're going into that Russian twist. So feet are gonna be on the ground. You could hold a light dumbbell if you wish. Lean back and alternate your elbow to the ground. So we reach and reach. All right, if that's too hard, you're eliminating the weight. You're just reaching side to side. All right, you could also just lean back and hold this posture instead of that side to side twist, if this is better for you. 
right? Lots of options here. And then of course you can make this really challenging and elevate the feet, okay? I'm just gonna stay in this modified version, leaning back, reaching elbows to the ground. Three, two, one. Okay, back to the top, one more round everyone. Let's go back into your hamstring march. Remember, the further your feet are away from your bottom, the more you're gonna activate those hamstrings. Ready, bum is up, and we alternate to the ceiling kick. Or just hold that bridge. Let's move into your 90 degree crunch. Legs in the air or on a bench. This is nice, it does support the lower back a little bit more. Hands behind the head, chest to ceiling, and we lift. Slow and controlled. Okay, last exercise into that Russian twist, with or without a dumbbell. Side to side, shoulders low and back, lean and reach. All right, you're staying nice and close to the body with those elbows, slow and controlled. You're doing well, halfway through, 20 more seconds. Stay in the pocket with me here. Last 10 seconds here now. In three, two, one and done. You move daily in your total body strength workout with dumbbells. That was good. Well done, everyone. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the workout. Leave a comment and stay down here for a stretch if you can. Okay, I wanna start right here in cat and cow. So come up onto all fours, round up through the shoulder blades, try to separate those. And then exhale, drop the chest, lift the chin. You can open those knees a little bit if you need. Good, rounding up, 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 up again. And drop. Okay, let's tuck one arm under, lean back and stretch in that middle back. That feels so good. So a workout like that, if you felt good with that, then doing that again, but with three sets would be great. Switch sides here, right? That's a better progressive overload of the muscle because then the third round, you really have a chance to challenge each individual muscle by lifting a little bit heavier, right? When you're a beginner, new, it's important that you do what is going to enable you to show up again tomorrow. Hamstring stretch here. So I've said this before, but sometimes, like for an example, someone said to me that they were volunteering at this ice skating thing with kids. And she said, I can't tell you how many times I stood up, bent down to tie the skates up, down, up, down. She goes, I could not walk the next day. She goes, why, what happened? I'm like, because you squatted about a hundred times and you're not used to doing that, right? It was okay at the time because you're functional and your body can do it, but the muscles were not used to doing it. So they definitely need to be worked up to that. 
However, had she been someone who had squatted a lot, a lot, a lot, you know, in the weeks and months leading up to that event, she wouldn't have felt it like that. So that is what happens. I think what happens is people go, well, I could lift way heavier here. This was too light for me. And then tomorrow comes and the muscles are like, what did you just do to us? And they're so sore that they're like, well, I'm going to skip today because I can't even lift my arms to dry my hair. I can't even sit to go to the bathroom. And that's not winning, right? Hypertrophy or the increase in lean muscle happens with volume over time. So you need more exercises just like this tomorrow. Maybe you would isolate a little bit more instead of doing a full body again. Maybe you would just do something like your arms. Um, and then the next day you do something just like your legs. And then the next day after that, you would do a whole body again. So, and that then would give each individual muscle group more volume. So that's what you need. But again, the goal is to be able to show up again tomorrow. So don't lift so heavy today where you can't do that, especially as someone just getting back or just starting out in fitness that you want to work your way up. And that's really, really important to do. Okay. Um, anyway, this was a great way to target all of the major muscle groups. Uh, we did a little bit of everything. Let's drop those shoulders here. And yeah, I thought it was a good workout. Good dumbbell strength. Easy just to, you know, switch weights if you need to. Try light the first round, go a little bit heavier the second. And like I said, if that was all too easy, then next time you can add a third set and that would be a nice little overload for you. All right. Thanks for joining. That was great. Go move daily in your wellness and nutrition. Don't forget, we do have our membership and there is a beginner stream there and you have access to the advanced stream as well. So when you're ready, you can jump ahead. All right. See you in the next workout.